can you give us an overview of a short-term trade finance fund? Yeah, I think the short-term trade finance fund is, is providing sort of uh, shorter-term uh, trade finance opportunities to borrowers all across sort of mainly Africa and then uh, exporting those type of products from Africa to the rest of the world. I think the short-term component is typically we're looking in a region if it takes about due to sort of maybe main infrastructure problems across some of the more landlocked countries in Africa, about 90 to about 120 days, in some cases 180 days to get the products to the final uh, end market out there. So that's, that's what we focus on, to sort of uh, get products sort of in a central sort of distribution type of warehouses, move it from the middle of Zambia, the copper, all the way uh, in, ends up into the Chinese market and some of the smelters there. So that's the short term nature of it. So every 180 days a transaction would start, the product would be sort of started on trucks, go to a port, load it on a vessel, from the vessel would sell to the end market and, and then get sort of get into the manufacturing side there. So that's a typical period that we do. So average currently is about sort of 200 odd days for a sort of short term trade finance transaction. Uh, it will go then from sort of uh, capital out to capital back and then a new type of transaction started. So that's why we call it sort of short term revolving type of trade finance that we're focusing on. And let's chat about your strategy here. Yeah, our strategy again was uh, to sort of start off in, in, in the focus where we got quite a big presence. So it would be the sub-Sahara and eastern side of Africa and then sort of some pockets of uh, West Africa, uh, Nigeria, sort of Ghana, one of our sort of key markets on, on the African continent there. Uh, and it is to pick up that different regional type of flow. So it, each and every region has got different strengths. Sub-Sahara is very much uh, focused on some strong agricultural exports and as well as minerals. Uh, if you go more to the sort of the uh, Zambia, East Africa side, cashew nuts, uh, some of the pulses going to the Indian market is quite a big sort of product out of that side. And again, West Africa very strong on sort of the cocoa, coffee, uh, those type of products. So I think each and every region offers something a little bit different. And that's what our strategy sort of makes it unique to say from purely agricultural point of view, you've got different products, different seasons, but that, that sort of gets added with uh, a more strong base of all the big minerals and resources. Africa remains mineral rich and a lot of those products is really required uh, in by the most of this sort of international powerhouses like the US and, uh, and China. And I think maybe on that point, I think that's a question that do we do get a lot, you know, what about the trade war between sort of US and China? How will it impact our strategy and trade finance? But really we see that currently as an opportunity uh, from both the US side as, as well as China. Just a practical example, we just concluded a transaction whereby um, one of the big uh, uh, motor manufacturer companies in US, Ford, uh, is looking uh, for canopy manufacturers outside China and they concluded contract with South African exporter that's going to manufacture canopies in South Africa and export it to the US market. So it used to be China business before and now we're picking up that business. And in the reverse, we obviously, the US put a huge amount of duties on agricultural products like pecans and almonds and all those type of uh, products that's produced in California. Uh, the Chinese buyers now actually coming to, to Africa as alternative markets. Uh, we uh, got approached by one of the big Chinese buyers saying, listen, uh, I'm looking for pecans and almonds. And they basically almost bought up the whole of the South African uh, pecan crop. You know, so previously sourced from the US, now sourced from South Africa. So again, a growing market and something that's maybe not great for the world in terms of a trade war works quite in our favor from, from our strategy point of view. Priya, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you to you for watching Black Onyx.